Thanks, everybody. Um, you know, Wayne talked about uh, things for making me feel good. I'm going to talk a bit about making myself feel real good. My first experience really watching any kind of thing like stand up, anything like that, I was in college, and Henry Rollins came to our college doing this spoken word thing. And uh, it was like two hours, and almost all of it was hearing him talk about jerking off in the hotel bath, uh, sits in the bathroom. And I was like, that's fucking Henry Rollins. He's got to jerk off in the sinks and bathrooms. He's talking about, you know, I'm in Russia. He talks about this little old lady beating him up on the subway and then going back to his hotel room and jerking off in the sink and the bathroom, not connected to the lady beating him up on the subway. And he's going to Africa and there's some guy with a spear and then he's jerking off in the bathroom sink. And I'm like, what is it about this guy? And then for my job, I started traveling a lot. And let me tell you, I learned a lot about jerking off in hotels. When <laughs> 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 you watch TV and shit, Right? It's really easy, right? You just saddle on up to the bar. There's going to be some corny, middle-aged woman in a short skirt. She's going to be there, and she's not going to be a hooker. And she's going to be a businesswoman doing business, and she's going to be so bored, and her husband's you know, at home taking care of her kids, and she's got nothing else to do except for have sex with guys on the road. You know, guys like her, they're just guys on the road. She's a lady on the road. And, you know, you meet the hotel, uh, the hotel bar, and then next you know, you're fucking. Right? But that ain't the way it works, I promise you. I promise you that's not what it's like being on the road for work. And um, my first real experience with this was about eight, nine years ago. I started traveling for work. Now, I was in this La Quinta Inn in Altoona, Pennsylvania. Does anyone know where Altoona, Pennsylvania is? No. Yeah, you wouldn't. Right. It's basically it's like halfway between like Harrisburg and like Allentown or something. Like the only reason why it exists is because they have like point between two other things that do know the names of. And the biggest thing that's in, it's known for is that Caterpillar has a plant there or a factory or something. Mm -hmm. And Sheets Convenience Stores is based out of there. And I was there doing some work for Sheets Convenience Stores. And um, just on my last day of this one week trip, and a couple in the room next to me, they're fucking like hardcore porno. Oh my God, shove in me. Broke me, fucked me in the ass, fucking. And I'm like, oh my god, what do I do? Like, this is a moral dilemma. Like, what do I do? There I am, a married man. And uh, what I really want to do is I just want to knock on their door and be like, you got two choices. Number one, you can keep it down. Number two, you can open this damn door and let me in. Like, that's really what's kind of going through my head. And instead, I chose choice number three. Went to the bathroom, got on the little hand towels, and started jerking off. Anybody ever stay in a hotel before? Yeah. What do you know about the uh, the, the towels there? Those those hotels. What's your direct impression of them? Scratchy. Scratchy. Itchy. Lowest cost. High. Uh, low threat count. Low Shit quality. Like that. Yeah. Low quality. Let me tell you, jerking off with one of those guys before you get on a plane. Oh. Rash. No good, guys. No good. <laughs> no good. Take it from me, please. No jerking off in a hotel. Uh, hotel hand towel. Before you gotta find me, those towels are horrible. They're so they jack you up, don't do it. That was my first time really doing it. And then the more I flew, the more I traveled, the more I learned to jerk off in the hotel rooms and stuff like this. I perfected the technique. And if you're curious what the technique is, the technique is actually bring condoms. No lie. You put the condom on your junk, and then you put the towel around it so you don't get your hand full of lubricant and stuff. Because that loose on condoms always smells like really nasty. But this way, like you can jerk off the condom, it's all good. So it works really well, so trust me guys. And this way, if you do happen to meet a lady who doesn't actually exist at that hotel bar, you got some backup, you got a plan. Because once I was in Saskatoon, Canada, and I broke my foot, and I asked the guy, I'm like, you know, where's the nearest place to go for uh, an aspirin? And he's like, well, there's the 7-Eleven. I'm like, the 7-Eleven's a 15 minute walk, and I got a broken foot. He's like, yeah, and? I was like, well, what if I like met a lady at the bar and I need to like get a condom because I didn't have any. It's like, yeah, it'd be a 15 minute walk to get a condom. It's like, good thing that never actually works out for me anyways. <laughs> so this thing went on and, on, and my, my experiences with this have gotten worse and worse. The worst one, the absolute worst one, was in Sunshine, Florida, which is between Fort Lauderdale and Miami. And I'm coming in my room and me and my coworker, this big tall motherfucker, he's like 6'7", 300 pounds, descending the Vikings. This guy gets to violate the travel policy. He gets to have like exit row seating, first class seating, no matter how much it costs, because it'd be 
like a crime against humanity to make this dude fly economy. And uh, we're sitting there in the hallway, we're talking about some stuff, and we hear like some hard porn stuff fucking. And I was like, yeah, great. It's next to my room. I gotta hear this shit for the next hour and a half. Hopefully, hopefully not. Um, then to make it worse, uh, just about the worst thing that ever happened while traveling, even worse than the uh, than a broken foot. And this particular trip, I had aggravated a, a hemorrhoid. So I'm sitting there in a town where I don't have any real access to healthcare or anything. I'm sharing a rental car with like five coworkers. And I got like two something down my ass that's like in severe pain. And uh, I got that preparation H and I got like shove up your butt. Anybody here ever try shoving anything up their own ass? Anybody? Let me tell you guys, it's work. It ain't easy. Like, it's all about angles. Like, anybody who's done anything involving your ass in general, you know it's about the angles. Right? Like, you can put, like, a horse stick up there if you get the angle right and use lubricant. But, like, trying to do it to yourself, the angles are just, like, you're jacked. Like, it's hard. And I'm sitting there trying to, I'm sitting there kneeling up against this, uh, up against this couch, right? Got my hand up, I uh, got my left hand here braced up against the couch. I'm sitting there trying to cram this preparation H2 up my ass. And, uh, fucking smell it. What ass was it? Somebody was fucking on this hotel couch. And it was just like, oh my god, between the people humping in the room next door and the smell, it's like, I just gotta do it. And so that's what happened. I, you know, brought up the condoms, brought up the hand towels, and went at it. And let me tell you, looking back on these things, I understand Henry Rollins a lot better now. I mean, he and I have never met, he and I have never, um, you know, I've never shaken hands or anything like that, but I feel like a real bond with Henry Rollins. Like, I'll be on, like, Facebook and I'll see him on, you know, like, a clip of him talking about something. Like, me and Henry Rollins, we've got something in common. He spent a lot of time jerking off in hotel rooms. <laughs> Thank you very much, everybody. Have a great night. Woo!